have I mentioned I like to watch? Your heart wasn't in this, Felicia. Tell me what he did to you. I was transferred to Ravencroft. The Kingpin came to see me. Just to be clear, we're talking about Wilson Fisk. Yes. He said he knew I was after power, and and he could give it to me. You'd owe him. That's how it always works, isn't it? The doctors did experiments. They called it DNA crafting or crisscrossing. Cross-species genetics? You've seen what can happen. Why would you do that to yourself? Boy, you are thick. I did it for you, so I'd be like you, so we could be together. But then the Kingpin ordered me to kill you or die myself. I couldn't. I can't. Felicia, I... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm not interested in your face. Just your lips. I, I can get you help. Witness protection. A new life safe from the Kingpin. And... Maybe... Maybe someday we can get to know each other like normal people. I don't want to be normal people. Run away with me. We'll go somewhere exotic. With our power, we can live like royalty. Adventure, excitement, romance. And that sounds terrible to you. No, but I've got... responsibilities. Well, I'm not one of them. Don't worry about me. I've always done fine with a target on my back. I can't just let you go. Fisk owns too many cops. If I'm in custody, I'm as good as dead. You can't do that to me any more than I can do it to you. You ever decide you want some fun in your life? Look me up. Felicia, <laughs> wait! makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. I've got an old friend who can get it. Just in, Webbs needs something to stick to. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. <sighs> I can't go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? 
That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Oh. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's got to be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it? Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. Who can resist that? As if I didn't have enough problems. Now I have to worry about Oscorp being stolen out from under me. Donald Menken's supposed to work for me. And for now, he's doing what I say. But it's obvious he'd like to run the place. Then there's Wilson Fisk. He keeps offering to buy the company. I might even sell it, if I didn't need Oscorp's research division to find a cure for my disease. I've got to watch them. They'd both stab me in the back without thinking twice. I caught up with Peter Parker. We used to be pretty good friends when we were kids, and our dads were partners. I was hoping he might be able to tell me more about his father's research. 
but he doesn't know any more than I do. Less, actually. Based on Dad's papers, I get the impression Richard Parker went on the run because Dad wanted to weaponize his research. Typical Norman Osborne. He either ran off or killed the one guy who might have been able to save his life. The bad guys appreciate all the effort I go through looking for you. I'm always awesome. Sometimes I'm extra awesome. Buckle up! Fasten your seatbelts! Those people won't be able to breathe for long. Without my marshmallows. 
Hey! I said I wanted my butt. I can't take this heat! For real, bro. Smooch him. Don't worry, I'll get you out! Help! I'm boxed in! Get down and cover your mouth! I'm on my way! Ah, poor Harry. I want to help him, but without the proper testing, Harry, my blood could down. actually make things worse. for fires being romantic. Yo! I got no way out of this! <laughs> That's some serious heat. Gotta Fire find man. the people quick. I'm coming! You know, water balloons would be a much better... Please! I'm trapped in here! If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. Thank you, Spider-Man! A sobbing woman embraced the son she thought she'd never see again. Reunited, thanks to Spider-Man.